Hello everybody, this is the Dark Rise Zero Five. Welcome you back to Pokemon Black Part 17. I actually checked to see what part it was this time. Uh, in the last episode, we fought Sharon over here and uh, got completely annihilated a couple times. Uh, in this episode, we actually didn't get too beat up last episode. So, what I'm going to do, <clears throat> we're going to explore the rest of this route. I thought I was going to need to heal, but maybe I already did, or maybe I just didn't get that beat up the second time. But, anyway, um, I'm just going to not cut this wild battle out out of laziness. Uh, anyway, in this episode, we're going to explore the rest of this route, Route uh, 4, and it's actually a pretty long route. This could be a decently sized video, especially if I run into a lot of wild Pokemon, but I'll probably cut the rest of them out except for this one because I didn't feel like interrupting my intro. But anyway, um, so yeah, last episode, yeah, I already said what we did. Um... In this episode, we are going to take on Route 4, and when you go to take- that's the, that's the healing house again. Uh, when you go to take on all the trainers of Route 4, it's actually a pretty lengthy route. So, uh, you know, lots of wild Pokemon too. Uh, I actually do not want to, uh, stay in here, because we got these guys, who are fishermen. So I guess we guess which type they'd have, right? So anyway, we don't want to send, uh... Theme is finished. Uh, nothing. I just saw something on the computer. Um. Anyway. Uh, we don't. We wouldn't want to. Uh, um. Yeah, we wouldn't want to send out our drillber in, into the face of water types, especially really fast, decently strong ones like Basculin. But Scraggy should be able to take him out pretty good. Yeah. See, that did barely anything. Alright, brick break. Didn't quite kill you, but that's okay. Uh, let's use faint attack. It'll never miss. Chip away. Ooh. Oh, why was I even remotely worried about that? That was a lot of glare. Um, I think I will be uh, right back as soon as he sends out his next Pokemon. That was a lot of glare. I'm going to close the blind. Hey back. Um, Scraggy can be pretty slow, so yeah, I'm, I'm, ne I'm never going to use Swagger. So Payback should be a good move to get rid of. Or Swagger should be a good move to get rid of for Payback. Alright, Scraggy's buffed by the Sandstorm, no problem. He sends out a Basculin. And I'm going to be right back right after I close those blinds, because that, this causes a pretty nasty glare. I'll be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that, but anyway, so now that we're back here, uh, Scraggy has had a Moxie boost, and Bite? Wow, that won't do anything. We should be able to one-hit kill this. Yeah, uh, but, well, we didn't one-hit kill, but Sandstorm finished it off for us. So that's good. Uh, I'm gonna need to heal up, but I don't, I don't feel like going all the way back to the healing area, so I'm just gonna use a potion. Potion. Oh, I got lemonades too. Might as well use them. I'm here 46. She used a super potion. Oh well. Alright, so let's take on this trainer next. Fisherman Andrew. So, anyway, I said it in the last uh, Zelda video that I recorded. Um that I might be able to record PSP footage next. So tell me what you guys would like to see first. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Uh, whenever I get to there, do you want to see Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep first? Or do you want to see Mega Man X? I'll do both of them eventually, I think. But um, I want to I wanna know which one you guys would like to see first. Or Mega Man Maverick Hunter X, actually. I have a little big plan at Mod Nation as well, but I've never actually beaten Mod Nation myself either, so I don't want to do that one. And then Little Big Planet, I would have to. Yeah, that's just a weird, kind of a weird game. It, it would just be kind of weird, you know, if that makes any sense. I don't know if it does or not, but but yeah, I want to. Do you want to see Mega Man, Ma Mega Man Maverick Hunter X or Birth by Sleep first? Take your pick. 
And Payback was dealing out some serious damage. As he gets stabbed, plus normally 50 power, but since Scraggy's a little bit slow, and can take hits well, it almost always gets hit. Boosting up to 100 power with the stab. Not to mention any moxie boosts that may come our way. You know, this payback is a good move for Scraggy. I definitely recommend it. And I also definitely recommend giving it the Evie Light if you don't already have it on something else that's more important. Yeah, this is going this is going very well. Anyway, yeah, just tell me what uh what you guys would like to see. And I'll I'll do whichever one you want really. I'll do whichever one I seem to get more comments for. I'm not gonna like go into some like official voting poll or anything, but I mean you know if you wanna see just put put down which one you wanna see and uh, I'll tally some votes or something. Well, I won't, I won't tally the votes, but I'll just look at what seems to be the majority, and I'll decide from that. I already know one fan who's gonna... who's gonna say Birth by Sleep, probably, but... But, you know. Is there... If I do Birth by Sleep, I will take on things like the mysterious figure. And, uh... uh the, uh... What's-his-face? Vanita's Remnant. I'm going to have to watch the camera, because I think it's about to go crazy again. Uh, maybe I figured out how to stop it. Alright. Great ball. Wild battle. Okay, sorry about that. The camera did start messing up again during that wild battle, but at least it did it during the wild battle. I think I figured out a way where I can uh, keep it from messing up again. Well, not from messing up again, but something I can do the next time it's about to mess up to keep it from messing up too badly. Uh, hold on a second, I accidentally uh, messed up the zoom. Um, there we go. Uh, might not, still might not be a uh, perfect one. Keep it a little bit more. Alright, that's about as good as I'm going to get it. Uh, we're, run we're starting to run out of power points on faint attack, so let's uh, handle that first. What handle that first? What, the what am I supposed to mean? Let's I meant to say let's use brick break. I don't know how let's handle that first came out, but regardless. We got a Moxie Boo, she's gonna send another temple. I probably need to heal soon. And well brick spray can probably one hit kill it. Since we were so close to one killing it last time. Oh yep. Moxie boost away. And let's move on. I actually need to switch out now because um Craig is starting to gain too much experience. It's about to hit level 25, and I don't even have... only have one Pokemon that's even level 23. Now, I'm going to try to avoid using Darumaka as much as possible because of uh, the fact that I'm not going to keep it throughout the whole game. My way of life is dynamic. I'm not sure what he means by that, actually. Anyway... Worker Gus is going to challenge us with his Rog and Rolla. We are going to probably use Metal Claw. Because uh, I think Dig would do too much and trigger Sturdy, which I mean, and it doesn't have as much power points anyway. I'm, I'm sure we can two hit KO. We would definitely have to two hit KO it regardless. Oh yeah, we can definitely two hit KO it with uh, Metal Claw. And uh, we are also, one thing to keep in mind. We're also immune to sandstorm if we are ground, rock, or steel type. So just keep that in mind. And, uh, Metal Claw. Yeah. Uh, now the Rog and Rolla will just use some more Metal Claws. Now the Rog and Rollas are immune to sandstorm as well, so it's not a... It's kind of an even playing field there. Oh god. 
Not sand attack. Not sand attack. Oh boy, headbutt's gonna hurt too. Ooh, that, yeah, that hurts a lot. Please don't miss. Thank you, thank you, Drillbur. You're, you're stepping it up a bit since the last few times I've used you. That's good, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna switch you out of this timber. Just because I don't think you could take it on very well anyway, and you're kind of at low health and uh, impaired accuracy. Just a little bit of impaired accuracy. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll just play it safe and, uh, send out, uh, Dewat. By the way, if you guys want me to nickname him, leave that in the comments, too. I, the only reason I didn't nickname him is because I couldn't think of any good nicknames, really. So, yeah, just let me know if you, if you want nicknames and, uh, tell me what you, tell me, uh, what kind of nicknames you had in mind. And I will happily nickname them. Just for you guys. Well, not just for you guys. I like having nicknames on them too. I just couldn't think of what to nickname it. Uh huh. Alright, do what? Now, let's keep going. There's some way up there. We haven't gotten to it yet. Something up here. Let me pull out my dowsing machine. Oh, uh, it's a burn heal. Um, not that useful in this game, because there's no, like, fire gym leaders or anything like that, but... Uh... I'm actually kind of glad I ran into that wild battle, because I just remembered I still need to heal Drillber. I'm running out of healing items. Uh, there is a vending machine on this route, too. That you can buy some lemonades from if you want. So, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. We're gonna battle this trainer. I'm a mucho macho worker. I'll bring you down with my muscles. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's illegal to beat up a little kid. Worker Shelby. Ah, uh, uh, he's a mucho macho worker and his name is Shelby. Ah. <laughs> That's probably one of the funniest things I've seen all day. Okay, let's use Dig. Man, Drillbur's fast. I know it gets Sand Rush at some point, I think. Which will, which makes it faster in a Sandstorm, but does it get that before it evolves? I don't know, let me, let me find out right after uh, I win this battle. Dang. Dang. Sucks for you, man. Okay, let's see, does Drillbur, I know that it's what evolution does, but does Drillbur get Sand Rush? Sand Force, first boost certain moves power in a sandstorm. Oh yeah, Sand Force, that was, I think that was still the, uh, I think that was the, um, actually what the ability was called, I, I don't remember, I'll have to look that up. But I think that means our dig got boosted, why am I... Keeping this in my cut. Okay, we're back. Um, we're gonna get this item, and then head back downward. TM41 Torment. Okay, yeah, you can skip this item if you want. It's not that good. Of, it's not that good of an item. There's something down here. Oh, wait a minute, it's up here. Oh, there's an ether. Okay, ethers are pretty good items. Anyway, the TM41 Torment, it's not that good of a TM, but it's gonna make it so when you use it, your foe can't use the same move twice in a row, which is not that useful. Uh, this Hyper Potion is useful, however. Oh, I thought there was something over here. Uh, let's see, there's something up here. That's weird. Alright, Ultra Ball. And uh, now we go all the way back down. Um, you can't really see the uh, different difference in the sand colors through this camera, unfortunately. Uh, I need to be cutting this out. Sorry about that. And we're back. Uh, hold on, there's an item down here that I missed. 
yeah, I guess there's nothing that valuable up there on that path. Uh, you can skip it if you want. This is a pearl. Um, I suggest you hang on to this, because you can go ahead and sell it at Pokemart pretty cheaply now. But later there'll be a guy that you can sell it to for more than what a Pokemart buys. I think double. Which the Pokemon only offers a thousand dollars anyway, but why why would you sell it to the Pokemart when you can just We can just get more at somewhere else. And it's even in the same building as the Pokemon. So it's it's in a Poke Center. I mean it's pretty far away, but anyway, um so this is the way that you're actually sort of supposed to go. There's sort of a there's sort of a path laid out for you uh, in the sand. But again, you can't really see it through the camera. I'm sorry about that. There's not much I can do. Um, hold on a second. Let me uh, keep an eye on the camera. I think it's about to screw up again. I didn't notice the easy light go on, but. That's weird. Yeah, I think it. I think the camera's about to start messing up again, so I'm just have to keep an eye on it. Anyway, we'll just use dig on this. Yeah, I think um. Yeah, I, I think the camera is about to uh. It's about to mess mess up. Let me just keep an eye on it. I don't know why it does that. At least this time I know how to stop it. Uh, anyway, there's an item over here. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I forgot to come back in. Um, I hope I forgot to. I hope I remember to come back in after that wild battle. Um, if I I fought that trainer, if you if I forgot to come back in from that, um, there was a hyper potion right here, and uh, yeah, uh, nice camera angles. Actually, um, no, actually, no. I'm going over there next episode. For now, I'm just going to continue the route. A traveling backpacker meets a traveling trainer. Sure, why not? Backpacker Jerome. That's weird. Doesn't look like a Jerome. Oh well. So yeah. Uh, let's hit this Pida with a razor shell. I've, I've been saying so yeah a lot. You know? I need to get out of the habit of that. I guarantee you I'm going to say it in just a few minutes. And I'm going to it's going to, this is going to bother me now for like the rest of my life. Anyway. Just tackle. Pie Dove goes down. And we gain experience. Backpacker Jerome. I may have been traveling to meet you. Just kidding. Then again, now that I've said that saying 
so yeah, is gonna bother me. I'm probably not gonna say it as often now. Um, I think that Bianca and Professor Juniper in here. Okay, yeah, I'll include that. I'll include. Oh, Sharon and Professor Juniper. Hello, dear Zero Five. Come here. Oh, gee, Sharon. Unless I called and was asking me all about electric type Pokemon, I thought I thought about you guys. That's why I wanted to see you. Ta-da! Freebies for you. Here, Sharon. You too, dear Zero Five. Sorry if the camera's shaking a little bit. My hand is bumping the uh, cord that's hooking up to, hooking it to the computer. If you see a Pokemon that you want to have join you, be sure to use a good type of Pokeball, because this could be the last and first time you see that Pokemon. I know it might seem strange for me to say this, since I'm the one who asked you to complete the Pokedex, but please remember to enjoy your journey. Of course, I'm not saying you can just neglect the Pokedex, but you know that. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I have to go meet Bianca. So there goes Professor Juniper. It seems Professor gave us the Pokedex as a reason to send us on the journey. At least that's what my mom told me. They wanted us to go out and see the world. So my mom, Bianca's mom, and your mom made a request to Professor Juniper. Zero zero five. What should we do now? I think I'd like to show the professor my thanks by going to Route Four and catching some Pokemon I haven't yet caught. Okay, Sharon, you do that. I'm gonna end this episode off here. We are not going up to the next city in the next episode because um, there's stuff happening like as soon as we enter the city that I don't want to show yet. Uh, instead, we're gonna show that path that I was about to go on, but then said that we would complete it on the next episode, at least the desert resort. So anyway, that's going to be it this episode. Make sure you comment on this video. Tell me uh, about those three things I asked for you for. What PSP game do you want? What do you want my Pokemon, Pokemon nicknames to be? And um, do you want me to speed up trainer battles? Um, like the video if you liked the video. Dislike the video if you didn't like the video even. I don't. Really, it doesn't really bother me which one you do. Uh, favorite it if you really want to. I'm not sure why you would, and and uh, be subscribe to me so that the next time I upload one, you won't have to go to my channel just to see it. Uh, I will see you guys next time when we go to the Desert Resort. So, I have been the Dark Rise 05. Stay tuned for more. I will see you guys next time.